Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Annalise and this is my channel where we get planty with it. Wow, why am I so out of breath? No idea. Anyway, it's that time of the month again, of course, end of November. So I'm gonna do my November highlights or my favorite plants of the month. I hope everybody had a good November so far. We're going into Thanksgiving next week. So I hope everyone has an amazing Thanksgiving, gets to do something special if they want to. Otherwise, have a relaxing day, stay home and do nothing, which is what I love doing. Anyway, let us get into my top plants of November. I don't know why I'm so hyper today. Mm. Okay. Where shall we start? Let's start with this plant. Not a singer. First up, I have to include a new plant that I got this month that I'm just like hype about. It's a Hoya, because you know I'm loving Hoya lately. So this is the Hoya Fichii. Look how cute. This guy's been on my list for a actually a long while. Ever since I started collecting Hoya, I really got into this one. And I don't know, I just, I would just kind of get distracted by other Hoya and pick them out before picking this one. But I saw this one for a really good price for this size. I mean, this has like seven leaves or something. You can see it's like really full. It looks so healthy. It's rooted up in here already. And so I took the plunge and ordered it. This was before I started my plant band. This was like the last plant I bought before my plant band, but it was worth it. I'm so excited. Right now I'm just isolating it to make sure that it doesn't have any issues, but I'm gonna move it into my Hoya cabinet pretty soon. Hoya Fichii. Okay, next up I'm gonna talk about a little alocasia baby. Look at this cutie. So this is an alocasia a silver dragon. Has a little label on the cup so I don't forget. So this is one we actually grew from a corm, which are the little kind of bulbs that come out of alocasias and you can separate them and repot them and they will turn into their own full alocasia one day. So there's actually two corms in here. This set of three leaves here, well it's two leaves and one new leaf in the middle. That's one corm. The other corm is taking a little longer to sprout but you can see it's starting to sprout and there's gonna be a little baby leaf there. I just think this is so cute that, first of all, this started from basically nothing. And then if you just leave it and forget it, set it and forget it, as I say, and put it in some damp moss, it literally sprouts and it's a whole new plant. And the leaves are just like so cute. I don't know, I love the baby silver dragon leaves. I think they're almost cuter than the full grown ones. So this is this guy, definitely a favorite this month. Hopefully by next month, he's gonna have like two plants in here, more leaves, probably gonna have to repot him soon because I'm gonna guess this is getting pretty root bound if there's two plants in here. This next one is in like my top five favorite plants of maybe all time. I, <sighs> let me not get emotional over a plant, but I love this plant. This is my philodendron Jose Buono. I know I've showed you guys this one before when I first got it a few months ago. When I first got it, this was the leaf that was unfurling. It came out completely white and then over time it fades down to this beautiful kind of limey green color. Then it put out this stunning leaf, which has more of that kind of speckled variation, so pretty. It just finished unfurling this leaf, which I think is my favorite leaf because it has like the sectorial variegation down here. Plus there's a lot of speckling. Ugh. It's so beautiful, this plant. I just can't handle it. It's like literally perfect. So I am experimenting with some poles. I'm gonna make a whole video on the moss pole, leca pole, blah, 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 pole situation. But as of right now, I got these cool, I don't even know what you describe them as, plastic casings and you can put moss in them or orchid bark or I'm trying a leca pole. This guy's not actually tall enough yet to reach it. I thought it would be, but I'm just leaving it in here until it gets a little bit taller. The aerial roots are kind of reaching for the pole, which is odd because it's just plastic, but and do their thing. So hopefully when this gets a little bit taller, it can start actually growing into the pole and get some bigger leaves. Although the leaves seem to be doing really well in terms of size, they are getting a little bit bigger gradually. So that is my next favorite, the Philodendron Jose Buono. Okay guys, this next one I am so stoked about. So in my video, I don't remember when, it was over the summer, maybe August or something, I got like five wishlist plants in the span of a couple weeks and this was one of them. And now this one was, so high on my wish list because I never thought I'd be able to get it. It was an expensive plant and I got it for a good price because the leaf that it came with was pretty damaged. So it looked a little bit crusty in my cabinet for a while while it rooted up, got itself settled, but it finally put out a new perfect shiny new leaf that I'm going to show you guys. So here I'm going to 
secret. I'm going to hide this leaf. This is the original leaf on my Philodendron Florida Beauty. So you can see like it does have beautiful variegation, but it definitely, you know, it got some sunburn because I think he, I was keeping it outside and yeah, it didn't look amazing. But now look at this new leaf. Oh my gosh. The variegation is just like so perfect on it. I cannot even handle it. It looks so good. Like look at that top section. And then you can see the growth point here is already putting out another new leaf. Like, can you even believe that? I can't, it looks so amazing. I'm definitely gonna have to transplant it from this situation soon. It's in sphagnum, but the sphagnum's gotten super algaed. Is that even the way to say it? There's a lot of algae on the sphagnum. So I definitely want to repot this guy soon. Probably just going to put it in LECA because that's kind of what I do with everything. But I'm just like so stoked that it's growing and looking so, so good. Look at that. Okay, wait, I'm taking a random interlude here. Not taking my plants for one second, but I just got my nails done. I was in Philly this past weekend visiting some friends and I got my nails done and they are so cute. Look at that. I don't know if anybody cares about nails. I just started getting my nails done regularly as my little like self-care treat and I'm obsessed. These were so cool. Anyway, back to plants. I know that's why you guys are here. So of course I have to have another Hoya in this video because <laughs> Danny heard me and said classic. That's so mean. I do even have another Hoya after this, but not the point. So this is a Hoya Hushkeliana variegata. Let me pull it out of this little pot situation to show you guys okay here it is hopefully you can see it well so it's just this beautiful plant like the leaves are so many different colors they have greens pinks in them and you can see there's so much new little growth in there that i'm so happy about it's rooting up super well look at these cute little rooties and it's little self-watering planter oop just filled water on myself anyway i've just been loving this guy i don't know what it is i know it's just a little plant and it like maybe doesn't have a humongous statement, but I just think it's so cute the way the new leaves are coming in. And these guys do, do grow pretty quickly. I mean, it's putting out four leaves at the same time. So if it keeps up at this rate one day and maybe like a year, it will be trailing over the pot and that's gonna be so cute. So thought I'd show you guys this one. Definitely a Hoya I am loving right now. Let me pick up this big guy. Whew. Let me take a breather. I talk so fast in videos, which I know I'm trying to work on, and I like literally make myself get out of breath because I'm just talking so quickly. So let me take a breather for a second and I'm spilling this all down my arm. Good, good, good. Okay, so this is my Monstera elbow. I'm sure you guys know what this plant is. This is a very popular plant. It's actually on this moss pole. So this is the same thing as I showed you guys with the Lekka pole, but I just stuffed moss in here. And this one's actually, it's tall enough to root into it. It hasn't really rooted into it yet, but hopefully down the line, it'll do that. So I'm loving this plant right now because this new leaf is just stunning. So initially I was a little bit bummed to be honest with this leaf because as you can see, it lost some of the maturity. These guys have a lot of fenestrations. They even have mid rib fenestrations, which are these holes in the middle there. And then this leaf didn't, you can tell it definitely looks a lot less mature. So I was a little bit bummed about it, but then I was like, why would I be bummed about it? That's kind of dumb. One, it's my own fault for not having it on a pole or giving it anything to climb. And two, it's still thriving, putting out beautiful leaves. The variegation on every single leaf is like absolutely stunning. And so once the leaf hardened off and I got to see like how the full plant looks, I'm just obsessed. When I first got this plant, I'll try to insert a picture if I have one of it. It was just two leaves, these two bottom leaves here. And so it was beautiful then, I loved it then, but it didn't have the same level of statement. And now I feel like it's finally getting to be like, a statement plan. I low-key want to have it out here on my desk like that so I could look at it all the time but I don't think it would get the prime light that it needs and I don't want to like stunt its growth anymore which is sad. Right now it lives under a grow light and it's loving it so I don't want to move it but maybe maybe in the summer when it's a little brighter in here I will move it. We'll see although I don't think I'm gonna be living here in the summer actually but that's a whole other whole other topic. Okay, why am I sweating? Like, What's going on with me today? I feel like keyed up, I don't know. Okay, so this next plant is my last plant of the day. So sad, but has to be. And it's of course another Hoya because that's just the type of person I am. Hoya and philodendron are my thing. This is my baby Hoya Sunrise. Look how cute that is. 
so cute. I got this guy as just some cuttings from a seller, maybe on Etsy, I honestly don't remember. And I actually, it was as one cutting and I cut it into two cuttings and I rooted it in my prop box. And then finally, when it was ready, I popped it into the LECA in this little container. And it's just been putting out so much growth. I got such a pretty picture of it the other day. I'll insert the picture here. But I'm just loving the coloring of the leaves. Like, that is so pretty. It's like a yellowy red. These are not even as sun-stressed as they can get. If you've seen like a really sun-stressed Hoya Sunrise, they can be like bright red. That's what I'm going for. It's very much near the grow light. And even these bottom leaves, you can see, are starting to get a little bit more red. So I'm hoping in another couple of months, I'm gonna to get to see that really vibrant color. But even so, I'm just enjoying it so much right now. It's growing so quick, it seems so happy. Let me put it back in its crusty. I really need to figure out a new situation for this one because I have it in this like takeout container with water in it as its like reservoir, which is fine. It just gets so crusty in here if I don't change the water out. And this is like after like a week and a half, it gets this crusty. This is not like I've left it for six months. So I need to find a more permanent container for this guy because he's so cute and I want it to be in like a beautiful setup. Do you guys feel like you appreciate your plants more when they're in like pretty pots or do you not really care? You're like cool with takeout containers, plastic pots. I don't know. I feel like I'm a mix of both. Certain plants I feel like get really elevated when you put them in a beautiful planter but then a lot of plants I'm also like whatever's gonna be best for the plant, make them grow, I'm cool. Anyway, I've had a lot of rambling today. I feel like my mind is pretty scrambled. I think I'm ready for Thanksgiving break. I think that's what I need, a holiday. So counting on the days. Anyway, comment down below with your favorite plants from this month. I really love to hear about it. I actually love, I love reading all of your comments and responding to them. It's probably my favorite part of posting a video is getting to read everyone's thoughts or people just giving me updates on their plants. It's really fun, especially because a lot of the same people comment on videos. So I feel like I'm kind of getting to know some of you guys. So if you haven't commented before, definitely comment below. And if you have, obviously keep on commenting. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to, but no pressure. Bye.